I grew up around Alzheimer's. Unfortunately, both of my grandparents, both of my father's parents, uh, were diagnosed with Alzheimer's in their lifetime. He knew what was kind of coming down the line, so he decided to go get diagnosed, which was a big step for him. I met Mike about 16 years ago in Telluride, Colorado, and then we got married in 2013. When we first met, he told me that he never remembered anything. You know, that was kind of my first clue. You know, he's always been somebody who's always focused on whatever the next thing is. And the gravity of Alzheimer's really kind of kicked in when my father got his diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment. There wasn't a real time to sit back and be very sad about it. It immediately became a positive and especially him sit forward and do everything we can moving forward to see what else we, he can do to further this, you know, part of his life. He immediately got amazing doctors and team behind him and looking for answers, looking for what he could do to be in a trial, looking for what he could do for medication, for these new drugs that were coming out, for research, what he could really be a part of. Eventually, they figured out that he was a candidate for Agihelm. We were just really, really excited about it, knowing that this could add years to his life and years that I've been worried about. And so it's been an exciting journey. I think we're in a really exciting age of, you know, being able to treat the disease and hopefully being able to cure the disease. I would say his life has changed in a lot of very positive ways because he's gotten so involved. Mike is the owner and leader of Legacy Bridge Private Family Office in West Des Moines. But he spends a lot of his time working with committees and groups that he's gotten, been able to get involved in. And my dad is 10 times busier than he ever has been. Um, he does about 50% of his day, I'd say. He's working on advocacy for Alzheimer's, for all the different groups and everything he's in. He gets requests for interviews and he's always doing constant research. And my dad has been the exact same and I've always known him, but just way more positive. He's just a unstoppable force and nothing is ever really gonna get him down. My dad is my hero, not for everything that he's done for my entire life, but for his journey through Alzheimer's. Volunteering with the Alzheimer's Association is really important because of our family's journey with it. I think it gives us kind of an inside look as to what we can really do to change others' lives, not just our own. When you go to these events or part of their mission, you feel like you have friends that are going through this with you and will drop anything to help you out. The Alzheimer's Association has been very helpful because they've allowed us to not only work with them, but they have been giving us plenty of research. They tell us where the new breakthroughs are. They provide us with resources um, if we ever have any questions. They have been working with my dad very closely in particular, and they've been using his story to help shine a light on what Alzheimer's can look like in all of its various forms. So they've not only provided us with resources and help, but they've also provided us with an outlet to help others, which has been amazing to see.